I'm pretty sure nobody wakes up in the morning and says, gee, I hope I can spend $3,000 on a rifle scope today. And if you do wake up in the morning wanting to buy a $3,000 rifle scope, you should do that. Then do it again tomorrow and give that one to me. Because then you'll have the joy of buying the scope and the joy of giving. Probably more than any other component of your rifle build, let's face it, the scope is the least exciting. When at the same time, it is probably the most important aspect of the rifle as a system. Because while the gun itself has all the cool factor, basically any reputable gun manufacturer builds a rifle capable of the accuracy you need to take shots at whatever distance you're shooting for. However, you need the scope to perform a lot of functions. One, just to see the target at whatever distance you're shooting for. Two, have accurate adjustments and an accurate reticle to calculate your given drop at that distance. Three, have the durability to stay functioning while under recoil and performing the needed tasks. And finally, five, have comfortable ergonomics. What I mean by that is being able to make adjustments to the scope effortlessly without much consideration. Those are the aspects that I look for in quality optics, and if I'm being totally honest, I want all of that. And I want to spend as little as I possibly can. That is exactly where the Primary Arms PLX 6-30 fits in. This is an exceptional scope that doesn't slack on performance in the slightest and delivers a very impressive package at a price that most people can live with. We'll get into the basic stats of the scope in a minute, but first let's talk about what we did with the scope because I always feel how it performs is the most important aspect. And we've been shooting the Primary Arms PLX 6-30 for a while and it has never failed to perform. When we first got our hands on the scope, we put it to work on the Desert Tech SRS M2 in 338 Lapua Magnum. So not only were we going to get to test out the scope to see how it does at distance, but this setup will also let us see how it holds up against the recoil of 338 Lapua Magnum. The Primary Arms Platinum did phenomenally well holding up to the recoil and also with several shooters all taking this rifle and scope out to a mile at two different locations. Everyone who shot the scope was impressed and no one had any issues with it all the way out to a one mile. Center, but just about a target high. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yes, sir. Yep. Dead center. Dead center. Dang. This says a lot for the glass clarity as well, because you'll really find out how good your glass is when you start going out to those distances. Impact. Impact past 1,000 on yards and approaching right a mile. The clarity is excellent and probably the best for the money. You can get a clearer scope, but you will pay significantly more for it. The big takeaway for me here is multiple people with different levels of experience all nailing targets at one mile using the primary arms PLX 6 to 30. You can't talk about primary arms without talking about reticles. They designed some of the best reticles in the business, including the ACSS. This particular model of the PLX 6-30 has the ACSS Athena BPR mill reticle. Now I know that sounds like a lot, and there is a lot going on, but I'm just going to highlight a few of the features in the reticle that I like a lot and use. 
First off, I know we haven't gotten to the basic stats yet, but this is a first focal plane scope, meaning that all the measurements on the reticle will be correct at any magnification level. The first thing that immediately stands out to me is the very center of the reticle is a chevron. This gives you a very crisp point of aim at any distance and allows you to really dial in your point of impact. Beyond that, the very center of the reticle has dots at 2 tenths mil corrections. This allows you to very precisely make corrections at great distance. You'll also notice that there are no lines in this area. Less obstruction in the middle of the scope lets you see more of what you're shooting at and potential misses, allowing you to make corrections quickly. The center of this reticle may be the smartest laid out that I've ever shot and I can't say enough good about it. Moving down, you'll have a Christmas tree type pattern with holdovers at mil and half mil increments, and it's a good and effective holdover system. To the right, you will have a range estimator that goes out to a thousand yards. Basically, an average height man fits inside the correlating distance, adjust your dope to that distance, and engage. This is an extremely well thought out reticle, and I think anyone from a beginner to an advanced shooter will be impressed with the reticle and find it easy to use. We're gonna do some filming and shooting through the scope now, and I just wanna say that the scope is actually clearer than it comes out on film. Sometimes I hate doing this because it really doesn't do long range scopes the justice that they deserve, but just keep in mind the scope is clearer than it will appear in the video. Okay, first of all, I just wanna give you a lay of the land of the range that we're gonna be shooting at, so you can kinda of know what you're looking at through the scope. We'll be engaging three targets. First off, these pigs, which are just over 300 yards. We're gonna engage this man-sized target at about 400 yards. And finally, we're gonna engage this gong at 700 yards. I also want to demonstrate to you while you can of course dial if you want to move between targets quickly you can just use the reticle inside the scope. This first target is at 400 yards and I know that my hold for that distance is 2 mils so I'll just hold at the 2. From the 400 yard target I'm going to make a transfer to the 300 yard ish target and I know my hold for 300 is right at 1 mil. That target's actually a little past 300, so I should probably be holding a little bit higher, but I'm still getting hits. Okay, finally we're gonna go back and engage this target at 700, which is right about five mils. Here's a 700 yard shot again, zoomed in a little further. But again, I wanna stress that the image through the scope actually looks way better than this. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the basic stats of the video. This is the part of the video where I basically read the primary arms website to you. The Primary Arms PLX 6-30 is part of Primary Arms Platinum line, which means it is a top-of-the-line scope with top-of-the-line features. These scopes are meant for demanding shooters and will deliver top-tier performance. One thing that I really like is the Primary Arms Platinum Series scopes, you get these Butler Creek scope caps. These are very nice and much nicer than any other included scope caps that I have ever got with any other scope. Really, every high-end scope should come with a nice set of caps to protect the glass. And this is the only one that I've experienced that really does. In the very back, you'll have the eyepiece adjustment that lets you focus the reticle to your eye. Then moving forward, you'll have the magnification wheel. The adjustment is very affirmative. It's really about perfect in my opinion. It's not too stiff or too mushy. The elevation turret also has very nice audible and tactile clicks, giving you very solid elevation adjustment. It has 1 tenth mil adjustments and 27.7 mils of total adjustment travel, which is very good helping you to stretch the most you possibly can out of whatever caliber you are using. On the right side, you'll have a parallax adjustment that goes from 35 yards out to infinity. You'll also find the illumination settings over here. There are 11 settings and every in-between setting turns the reticle off. I also think it is nice that the whole reticle lights up and is very sharp and crisp. 
There is a 34 mm main tube, 56 mm objective lens, and the primary arm 6 to 30 power will weigh in at 38.2 ounces. All things considered, you'd be hard pressed to find a better scope for the money than the Primary Arms Platinum Series. I actually have the 6 to 30 power and I have a 1 to 8 power, and both have been exceptional scopes. On top of having a great feature list, they also have very well thought out reticles that will actually help you become a better shooter. I would highly recommend the Primary Arms Platinum Series, especially if you want to stretch your dollar and get the most for your money. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in a Primary Arms Platinum, you can of course get them from Primary Arms or you can get them from Optics Planet and save a little bit of money with the code ALABAMA. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because we have some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Parlor, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you want to help support the channel, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.